I have the Ace of Cups upright, Four of Cups reverse, the Sun reverse, the Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords reverse, Ten of Pentacles upright, the Death card reverse, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so usually um, when the last two cards come out in the reverse position, I have to pull out two more to see what the situation is about, okay? And it's obviously um, love-related. Love, friendship, partnerships, um, something that is dear to your heart that didn't work out, and this is possibly from February, too. A lot of the, uh, this card shows up a lot in the reading following Valentine's Day because a lot of people, you know, just feel out of sorts and there have been falling out all over the place as well. So, let's start with the crowning energy. I have the Magician in the reverse position, the Emperor in the reverse. So, both of these cards deal with um, control and control in a good way. Control in, in a way that is like uh, directing the course of your life trying to manifest things in the real world, um, having control over the direction, the flow, the energy that is involved in, you know, conducting your life course, okay? So that is definitely going to be restricted this month just because those two cards are coming out in that position so early on. So what I'm sensing is this is also, let's see here. Yeah, this is definitely um, a, a month in which it is other-related, okay? So let's just talk about the first one that came out, the Ace of Cups in the upright position. So it's very good energy, and it's mainly, you know, the start of new relationship. And the relationship itself might bring a lot of emotional fulfillment and in, in renewal in passion, renewal, renewal in, like, your emotional frame of mind, okay? So it's a really good abundant energy coming in. So what I'm reading here is that um, new opportunities are just coming knocking at your door. You have this re renewal, you have this new, you know, cup, you have this new like offer of love, of affection and things like that. What you can't really control in this situation is um, you have to grab it and run with it. I feel that you will. But it's going to take time in order for the opportunity to flourish in its entirety. And it's going to take time for the fruition to take place, okay? So what I'm sensing here is um, with the Four of Cups in the reverse position, okay, you're presented with an opportunity that is like subpar, you don't really want it. And then on top of that, um, you're looking at the situation and you're just like... You're, you don't have the full ability to manifest things, okay? So you're looking at this as if it's going to require a lot of work from your end. So you're kind of hesitant about taking up this new opportunity. Um, again, I advise you against that just because, you know, it has a lot of abundance. It has a lot of potential, but the payout is going to be require a little more patience on your end, okay? And then with the sun in the reverse position underneath the emperor, the two energy is very, um, they're both relating to fire energy. So for those of you who have been dealing with an Aries or, you know, like a fire sign, the sun is also the card of Leo. It's in the reverse position. So, um, and, you know, just on top of each other, what it deals with is relinquish control in this situation, okay? Like I said, you don't really have control much over the course of events happening this month and unfolding this month. So it's really vital for you to um, just, I wouldn't say go with the flow because you do have to make decisions, okay? What I would say is... Um, it's kind of like cross your bridge when you get there, and it's kind of like um, situations in which if these people are in your life, the only, um, you can't control what they say, you can't control um, how the relationship, the, um, you know, the communication will play out. You do have control over how you react to them, though. So that's what I would say, you know, with the sun. Um, I wouldn't say it's suppression. It could be somebody who's like uh, very overbearing that you're dealing with, like another fire sign that you're dealing with who's very overbearing and who's just very difficult to um, to 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 deal with. And you never like achieve like 
a satisfactory interaction with them. So in the course of, you know, getting to know them or in the past, if you're dealing with them, you've never gotten like closure. You've never gotten them to do anything to your liking. So it's one of those situations. So like I said, you can't force, you know, people to do things. You can have control over how you react to them and the way you react to them by basically ignoring them it's going to be very instrumental in you know changing the relationship so it's basically a new approach to deal with this person from the past who might be difficult or dealing with a difficult boss as well somebody who's very restrictive who's very tyrannical who doesn't let you like um, give you enough freedom to pursue your own interests so you know in general, I just feel that it is a control issue. You have to change your perspective and how you deal with them in order to achieve the results that you want, okay? And then um, we have the Two of Pentacles, so let's see here. Um, okay, so money situation is looking good. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles deals more with balance, like the... Um, the yin and yang, and it's basically about like uh, what balancing the checkbooks and things like that. Money is looking good. Um, the only advice I would say about money is um, make sure you um, invest money. Make sure you spend it on people who are worthwhile. Okay, uh, not everyone is worthwhile, so we don't want to have like this past person into your life. Not everyone is worthwhile in your life, and it's very important for you to be discerning about that when you invest your money because um overall like financial abundance is not a problem this month what i'm i do sense is you know invest in your close inner circle invest in people who are worth it people who will reciprocate your time your effort and your uh, generosity okay so that's definitely a huge factor don't scatter your resources far and wide because people are just not worth it um additionally let's see here we have the page of swords okay so um, it's also very very important to be honest in relationships okay very very vital for you to be honest because um, I feel that you know like I mentioned that relationship that friendship that business project or whatever that is uh, manifesting it's surrounded by really really good cards but it's going to require a lot of work on your end it's kind of like um, it's it's sort of like losing your sense of direction, your perspective in the process of taking up this project, this friendship, this relationship, okay? So, opportunities here, it's surrounded by very, very good cards, but um, the ability for you to really, you know, um, to see the payout, to get the satisfaction of a job well done, it's going to take some time. So I would say definitely work, work through it, work with it, but... Um, if it's another person that you're dealing with, what I'm sensing is um, there might be some tendency from the partner or from your end to um, to like hold back on information. So make sure both sides have full access to information because that's the only way. I see that that's the only way that um, the project can progress, okay, or the relationship or the friendship or any type of that. That's the only way it can progress, okay? So... It has a, if it's a business project, it has a lot of potential in terms of um, income generating. And if it is a friendship, it's going to be, this person is almost like, um, you're, it's going to be incorporated into your household. It's like they, they you really trust them and there's a, a great level of like uh, reciprocity within that relationship. It's give and take in equal amounts and that's why I would say like it's very important for you to know who your friends are and to know the people that are really worth it so that you don't, um, scatter your resources and you don't waste your resources on others who are not worthy okay so with the death card in the reverse position underneath the Sun underneath the Emperor and they're all reverse all major arcana what I would say is um, this is a, a situation in which you know like um, switching up the way you react to people okay if someone rubs you the wrong way it's very important to um, I guess approach it in a different perspective. So like I said, you can't control how other people behave. You can't control what people do. You can't control how you react. So that's the only, there's going to be like a loss of control. And it's going to be like, um, it's a damper energy just because, you know, you, you don't have the ability 
ability for manifestation. You don't have the ability, you don't have the green light. You don't have like the, the worldly support, okay? So it's really important for you to really think about what you have control over and that is mainly, you know, changing the way you react to situation. That's the only thing you have control over. And that is probably the hardest lesson to learn and that's probably the hardest thing to implement in the real world. But it's going to keep you very grounded, okay? With the death card, it's definitely um, getting rid of past behaviors. Additionally, too, if you are in a relationship with a Leo, um, the Sun card is also the card of Leo. It's in the reverse position. Death card is also reverse. Death card indicates change. It's also the card of Scorpio. It indicates like change and upheaval and things like that. But all for your better, um, all for your greater good. So if you're dealing with that situation, it's time to get over it and let it go, okay? I don't feel that you're going to be able to this month but like I said, it would be best for you to let it go and change the way you react to situations because I do see like it's um it's still, you know, very raw. And this is a an interpersonal relationship in which somebody has betrayed you, you, you and somebody is like um still being very hurtful, okay? So it's still a very tender tender wound. If it hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen this month. So that's these are things that are coming in that you can't control. However, you can control how you react to them. All right? So it's going to throw you off emotional balance. And whatever, like this Nine of Cups card is also the card of, um, it's a wish card. With it showing up in the reverse position, something or somebody you've invested a lot of emotional um you know, like you've had a really strong emotional tie with, things just don't work out, okay? Things just don't work out. I don't see like infidelity here. I don't see that. But it's just a situation in which things are just not going to work out. You can't force it back together, okay? But you can, um, you can, the only thing you have control over is how you deal with it moving forward. All right, so keep that in mind. I know it's not like reassuring, but I would definitely say that is just the truth here because a lot of things are showing up in the reverse position and especially with the magician in the reverse, okay? So it's um the ability to implement, to manifest, the the ability to <clears throat> to take action is severely limited this month. I know it's a little bit of a bummer, but let me know how this plays out in your life. Please like, share, subscribe.